Visit Mercury, and you'll be visiting the only other planet in the inner solar system with a magnetic field. But its very existence defies explanation. Now, the mystery there is that in order to have a magnetic field, you need to have an interior to the planet that is at least partially molten. Mercury, one of the smallest of the planets, uh, would have been expected to really have frozen all the way through. And yet we have a relatively strong, very well-defined magnetic field that appears to have a source uh, that's located deep in the planet. Whatever mechanism is driving Mercury's magnetic field, it's too weak to protect it from the full force of the sun. The solar wind buffets Mercury's thin atmosphere. And in the process, it puts on a light show. The reason you'd want to go to Mercury as a travel destination would be this night side view, because it's going to be highly unique in the solar system. You have sodium that's atoms that are streaming off and giving off this yellow light. So you could almost look as like you're standing in a donut of, of sodium emission. With the sunrise three months away, you'll have plenty of time to sit back and take in the view, framed in a halo of amber light. In some sense, you could get a very nice light show. And I know people go to Canada to look at the northern lights uh, all the time. And so that would be a reason to go to Mercury. Not a night owl? Then head into the light. But when you're this close to a stellar rotisserie, make sure you pack plenty of sunscreen. If you want a suntan, you can't beat the dusty sands of Mercury. Stretch out on the ground here, and the sun crackles and fizzes right above you, appearing almost three times bigger in the sky and seven times as hot. If you were walking on the surface of Mercury, you'd need one heck of a spacesuit, because if you were in the sun, it would be extremely hot. You would see an enormous sun in the sky that would just, you know, <laughs> burn you to death if you, uh, you know, spent any time in it whatsoever. The mercury really climbs on mercury to a toasty 840 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about twice as hot as your kitchen oven on full heat. You'll need a bit more than SPF 30 sunscreen here 